Welcome back everybody. In this video, we are going to figure out for sure if more wattage actually does anything or if it's even worth it and uh, and does brand matter too. So uh, before we discuss here, originally in my projection room, I'm running a Yamaha RX 1070A and I wanted more punch in my speakers so I turned down the level on the receiver for the bass and turn up the DB channel levels for the speakers and then when I test the movie crank up the volume to see if I can get more juice out of the speakers and I guess uh, it didn't give me what I wanted. Now, when I ran this Yamaha RX1070 out in my living room, which has more speakers, well, has the same amount of speakers, but the speakers are a lot bigger and more expensive, it has a bigger sound when I run with the bigger and more expensive speakers. But I want to have that sound, even though I'm running smaller and less expensive speakers in my smaller room, I still want that sound. So I decided to replace that Yamaha with the Arkham, Arkham AVR 390 and immediately I noticed that my speakers were screaming and had a bigger punch. So that being said, yes, obviously if you have bigger, a bigger setup and more expensive speakers, it's going to have more punch and more sound than your less expensive speakers and your less, uh, and your smaller, uh, smaller speakers but by replacing my Yamaha with the Arkham brand it's actually giving the speakers more life than even though they're small more power and more kick than it ever did before and by the way the the one I'm running in the living room is the Arkham Arkham AVR 550, which is actually 90 watts by seven channels, seven speakers, and the AVR 390, which I'm running in the smaller projection room, is actually 60 watts by seven speakers or seven channels, and they are both 7.2. Uh, channel receiver and you can make it you can turn it into a 7.2 point um, 4 7.2 point 4 Dolby Atmos receiver currently for the 550 in the limb room it's set up for a 5.2 point 2 actually it's 5.3 but 5.2 point 2 set up and for the projection room, the 390 is set up for a 5.1.2 because smaller room, I just need one speaker, I uh, just need one subwoofer. And they both can, they both are Dolby Atmos receivers and they can do DTS X and they're, and they both have W Vision. And it, they also can do the IMAX Enhance Decode. Uh, whenever the content is available so it's pretty much up to date and you can do all the current sounds and the decodes for your loss of surround so I just want to put that out there so in conclusion basically yes having more watts really gives you more power to your speakers and is actually worth it if that's what you want 
to do for your speakers. It's actually worth it if you want more power. And each watts can only truly be measured within each brand. So pretty much you can't really uh, look at the wattage um, and compare that wattage with other brands because they all had different ratings. So, but I do know that um, with the, the Arkham, I, you know, they're, <laughs> it, it, it kicks that, I mean, the, now the 60 watt, uh, by seven, it's already a beast, but, but though the 90, it just really just push it out there. And, um, and, and of course the, the 550, it's running, like I said, it's running on a, a bigger, a bigger, uh, speaker setup. Um, and the th 390 is running on a smaller setup, but now, now with the 390 running in my projection room, it's sounding just like the five, the one in my limb room, because it's a smaller room. So pretty much it's a beast in there, even though I am running cheaper speakers. Um, but so I figure I just make this video to let you guys know for sure um, that more watch more wattage is more power and and then of course if you have a better brand um, it will make all of a difference to your setup so um, thanks for uh, tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hood it, dragons out.